Okay, here we go. Oh man, my voice is, uh, <laughs> my lungs are kind of tarry right now. I'm also sick. Um, but I've got this. I've shown, if you're a long time watcher, first time listener, whatever, uh, um, I got this, uh, the Dollarama. It's splattered with fake blood. That is fake blood. I don't know how to prove it to you. I don't know. Just... My, my, uh, my friend would be able to tell you, you can tell it's fake blood because of the color, because it's dry and has been dry for some time, and it is the certain color, so, yeah, like, whatever, so, um, my friend said she wanted to, oh no, I stopped using proper pronouns. Um, my friend said they wanted to, um, watch The Messenger, um, which is about Joan of Arc. And, you know, I've been, uh, I've been thinking that I'm hearing voices in my head a lot recently. And, uh, it's, like, new to me and, like... This other guy, he was like, um, he didn't say it outright, he's just like, learn the story, like, hearing voices, like, the beginning of people hearing voices in history, or at least like, dumb people like me, history, um, is Joan of Arc. So, so like, I'm saying like a lot. So like, comment, su subscribe. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Listen, uh, technically I'm on vacation. I won't get into that. Um, uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pardon my language. Uh, I am talking about Joan of Arc, so, you know, like, and I'm hearing voices, maybe. Yeah, actually, I might be hearing voices right now. Um, so the messenger tells the story of Joan of Arc, and it's like, I, I basically know the story of Joan of Arc, and, you know, just skip over it, like, just, like, don't need to know this. And, um... The beginning of the movie, I've, I, I've put it on two or three times, and um, I just put it on tonight. Um, and uh, the beginning actually isn't as bad as I remembered it. Um, I remembered the beginning um, uh, being a brutal uh, mur murder scene. Um, where the young Joan of Arc, her parents are brutally murdered and other stuff. And um, I'm sure that happens to Joan of Arc too. And I'm sure that's just like happening all throughout the movie, like Law and Order SVU, like nonstop, blah, 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 blah. Like, no, stop showing me this. <laughs> But, but the thing is, I want to know the story of Joan of Arc. I want to know about, like... So she, I guess, she's, like, hearing voices. And I don't know if it's, like, voices of God or, like... So I saw the beginning tonight, and the beginning wasn't as bad. The beginning, she's talking to this priest, and she's, like... But I want Jesus to forgive me. Like the pre the, the the they're in confessional and the 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 priest is like, Joan, stop you come here every six hours, like you're fine, like relax. If he did anything wrong it could wait till tomorrow. And uh Joan of Arc's like, Yeah, but no, I need to confess. I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad <laughs> And uh and the priest is like, just, I forgive you, like, 
relax. And Joan of Arc's like, yeah, but I come here because I want Jesus to forgive me. And it's like, I kind of feel the same way sometimes. Like, I don't believe in Jesus, but sometimes I do. And, um, uh, yeah, I want, you know, if, if Jesus existed and he could forgive me for the things, like, you know, hearing voices is just one part of it. It just, for me at least, like, losing control of my grasp of what's real, but, what, what, um, and I, it's like, I feel like I need forgiveness for, um, for the times when I lost, you know, like, I'm going to say Kurt Cobain, man who sold the world, um, uh, I know, okay, just shut up, <laughs> so, um, like, I, I just, like, it's, I, I forget what I was trying to say, so the medication just, and the voice, the medication, it's like the medication works with the voices, like, the medication is, like, payment to the, the because, like, when I say I hear voices, that doesn't necessarily mean I hear voices that aren't there. That, like, like, 1984 George Orwell. Um, I don't know. Yeah. So, they're telling me to shut up and paint this goddamn dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my language. Um, that you know, if you're watching this, you have to know. Uh, like, I'm not safe for all audiences, or you know, like. And I think I make that pretty clear to people. Like, I'm not a danger to people, but like, if you have a problem with me cussing, it's so complicated. My dad, um, Let's not get my family into it. So, um, I was just going to paint this guy's face blue. <laughs> I was just going to walk him paint his face. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> all I wanted to do is just paint the face. <laughs> I'm so stupid and worthless and not a valuable member to society and they should cut me open and take my organs. No, I'm Please, please do not. Please, I'm trying to... I promise you, <laughs> I promise you, surgeon who is watching this, that I am trying to get my life together, and I'll, like, I'll carry those boxes, you know, shipping crates, whatever. I'll do the... Fuck, I'll, like, I'll, I'll eat shit. Seriously, if it comes to that, I'll, I'll eat shit. <laughs> and not, not, not a metaphor. <laughs> like, I'm sure I'll get used to it. And I'm sure it's not good for me. Um, and I don't want to eat shit. So if you're someone out there who's going, oh, 
We got a shit eater here, eh? That was not an invitation to feed me some shit. <laughs> so, okay, you know, like, is it really that complicated? Do I really have to, like, explain all this? I think I do because, like, <laughs> um, I don't think a lot of people even understand, like, that, um, you know, I don't think a lot of people understand even just depression. Depression. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think a lot of people understand that. And that's like, dude, you, if you don't get depression, you're not going to understand what I have been through and... You don't know who I am, what I've been through. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. But, um, but yeah, I like, I, I look for people who understand and can relate. And the fucked up thing is like, I'm fucked up and they're fucked up and shit. It's like, I read this article about how fat people don't want to date uh, fat people because um, even fat people think fat people don't look good. And I, my mom's fat, I think. My mom is beautiful. I, I don't want to fuck her, but um, that's because she's my mom. But my point is, if you want to be fat, be fat. Just, you gotta, you know, I gotta work out my own issues with my mental illness, and you gotta work out your issues with being fat, and, yeah, so, I don't know, I'm not, so, I, I'm sure that's making a lot of people angry right now, I'm sorry, just, like, And trust me, when I say my mom's fat, it's just fat. Um, and, uh, but like I said, she looks good. She is good. She, she like, she's holding this household t together. My dad's, you know, my dad's depressed. And I could really say some mean things about him, but the guy's depressed and sits on the couch and he watches TV and he plays on his iPad. And it's like, he's playing his card, like, you know, like, I don't know if he is playing his card, his depression card. Um, he actually might be actually that. It's, like, you know, it's like, I've thought, is my dad actually so depressed that he basically made a deal where with himself where he's like, okay, I will not kill myself because my family needs me. But other than that, I'm checked out. <laughs> Like, is that my dad? Is that you, dad? <laughs> like, is, is, is that, is that really, like, come on, like, get off the couch. <laughs> Please. Turn off the TV. Get off the couch. Just, like, I know you're depressed. I know there's probably you're afraid of something about going outside. I'm afraid about going outside. I'm, you know, like, I'm super afraid of going outside. Um, but even if he didn't go outside, like, I bought him all these robots. He doesn't put the robots together. 
Is that because he wants like a father-son bonding thing where we put the robot together? Together? Um, unless I'm like a real mean person right now. It's like, it's like 4 or 5 a.m. I'm, I'm basically fasting or I, I hope you don't find it offensive if I say I'm practicing Lent by giving up computer. But am I, please allow, just like, allow me to have my own interpretation of like spirituality and stuff, like, um, I said that in a like kind of sarcastic voice, but I mean like, you know, I reached out to the Christians I have. I, I'm like, dude, you want to convert me? State your case. They came to my house, they stated their case, and it's like, I just, I, I don't know, I didn't, we didn't click. And, um, like, And it, you, you know, maybe it's for older people. I don't know. I feel really sick right now. I feel like I'm speaking against God or something. Like, but I, I, I'm probably just tired. But like you know, like <laughs> I want to download I am Sam. It has Sean Penn uh, working in a Starbucks as a developmentally disabled person, whatever you want to call it. Oh man, the sickness. I don't really like that sound. Um, I just, I really need a hug right now. <laughs> if I were to have a hug, I would have to wake up my mom and say, Mom, wake up, I need you to hug me. <laughs> I, I, I mean a literal hug. Like, I was just been on the computer too long. I was told I got six months vacation from, uh, I don't know what, I don't know if it's like six, like, how do you get vacation from, like, <laughs> you know, like, the computer's not me, I'm not the computer, there is a separation, we are not physically connected, <laughs> um, if you're a guitar player, just like think about it like I imagine you've been playing guitar a long time and like someone says, Congratulations, I'm giving you a vacation from your guitar and it, uh, and you're like, Yeah, I know I've been complaining that this guitar has been kinda of getting me down, but are you kidding me six months away from my <laughs> <coughs> six months away from my child. No one wants that. I do want to get away, but like, I don't know, I think I'm hallucinating. My voice seems to be changing as I talk. And alone in my room in my parents' basement, age 32, Painting a dinosaur and making a YouTube video. Maybe I should wake up mom. <laughs> no, but she needs to sleep. And she, I, I, I must have some heavy, heavy, heavy denial about, like, 
where I am in life and like <laughs> you know it, it must be like instinctual blockage <laughs> to like you know I think someone told me if they were in my situation they'd kill themselves <laughs> but they, they, they haven't been through what I've been through they don't know what it's like Jesus. I'm gonna have a Coca Cola after this. I'll tape it too. <laughs> There, so now his head is blue. He's got black horns, red eyes and a red mouth, and a blue face. Hurrah! Okay, and now this goes in here. Um, that gets closed up. Somehow a lot of the blue got used. <sighs> kind of blue. Um, so. So what, what do we got here? I need to pee. What was I? I was gonna get a cola. So I'll play the harmonica while I go pee and get a cola. Happy? I'm gonna do something fun. What do we got here? Okay. I'll just do something fun. said it's black on black. Um, I'm going to turn on this computer soon. The computer has been off for five hours while I was awake and sitting next to it. That's not too bad. And yes, I did use my phone. And yes, obviously I'm using the camera. <sighs> you know what? We haven't played with this guy in a while. Ow. 
So that what key is this? C. Oh, I, I thought I had it A1. heavy. <sighs> Always. Right? <laughs>
actually not only can I turn on the computer on 6am, I can also text this person who I like to text, but they might not be awake. Man, I drank the Kool-Aid. I drank the Kool-Aid of the cult that I was brought up in kindergarten. <laughs> so what does that mean? That means like, I'm not a lapsed Catholic. Oh fuck, I just, whatever I say. This is why I don't talk. <laughs> this is why my mom doesn't talk. I used to get drunk. I used to go to the LCBO and I had face paint on because I was making YouTube videos where I painted my face. And uh, this one guy who was actually really friendly and probably pretty helpful, uh, he, he started calling me Smiley and uh, he was kind of like gently making fun of me. He did say one word about the fact that I was going in every single day and buying a bunch of beer. Never brought that up. Um, but it's like, he's it was, it was kind of like tapping me on the shoulder going like, you see what you're doing here, man? Like, you see where you're going? <laughs> um, and uh, so he called me Smiley, and I do smile. I was smiling every time I entered the beer store. It was like, Ben, why are you smiling every time you enter the beer store? Why do people smile? Well, there's different reasons people smile. You do the rest yourself. Okay. Um, so, like, uh, <laughs> I just adjusted myself. I hope that's not on camera. Uh, anyways, yeah, so I came into the LCBO with uh, face paint still on. They're like, what's with the war paint? <laughs> so, dude, I'm not at war. <laughs> if, like, Am I at war? Like, is this like, am I, am I like fighting for like civil rights for like fucking crazy people? It's 5 a.m. Come on, give me a break. Actually, 526. Hear that? Hear that?
I voted there so I voted for it by mom and it was like Dan hasn't been on the computer all night. Is he okay? I look to do this. Over here now. I have an appointment in five to six hours. And I have to decide if I'm going to sleep. <clears throat> and it's probably better if I don't. Please don't have the PlayStation. We've got 10 minutes left on the memory card. If anyone's methodically going through my YouTube watching all this, you're probably having a real bad time. I hope you're having a good time. Do what you gotta do. And we are going to, what time is it? 5.31, you know what? It's enough time. Don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but Jesus Morris.
news, the one I love. The picture, not the computer. Oh no, what's the difference? Thus concludes our intermission.